back in the countries where I'm from, uh, the Carolina part, uh, my dad was like a, a bootlegger. He'd been away a couple times, you know, for they catching me <laughs> with the liquor, but they took him to jail. They took me to jail first, and then he would come and see me, and then let me out and say, send him home. I was seeing these fighters, Lewis, Marciana, Sugar Ray Robinson, and these guys were great guys. So they were, I said to myself, uh, one of these days, I want to be like these guys. And I stayed in the South, but therefore they didn't have uh, the equipment there for me to practice. I came home and, and let's say I took a, a bag and I stuffed it with different like moss. Uh, corn cobs, <laughs> a little briquette, you know, a little, some of my mama's old clothes, or my old clothes. So punching, pulling the, the bag up with different things in it and making a heavy bag, that's how I got my, my boxing ability. And when I got through with that, I said, look, I got to leave this town. I need to, to move and get to a place that I could be the champion of the world. So I moved here in Philadelphia. I ran all the guys out the gyms. <laughs> so that right away I know that I can get the job done. They come to the gym and peep inside the window. I'll hide in the office and then, is, uh, is, uh, is Joe there? Oh no, 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 he's not here. Oh, and they walk in and go upstairs and everything. Uh, oh man, I, hey, 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 Joe, how you doing, man? I, I know you, how you feel? <laughs> I said, I feel good. Oh man, yeah, well, I got a pain right here, man. Uh, uh, my leg hurt, I don't think I'm gonna work with you today, you know what I mean? So they, they, they try to find ways out not to work with me. And my, my trainer, he said, I'm telling you, dude, you guys can work with Joe. I'm gonna tie his left hand behind his back. <laughs> but then, uh, if I hit him with this, he was in trouble because it was a show thing. I didn't fire my ray unless I knew it was on target. In 1961, I was a Golden Glove champion. 1962, I was a Golden Glove champion. 1963, I was a Golden Glove champion. And 64, I was a Golden Glove champion. Went to the Olympics, I went to the National and the Golden Glove. I, I fought the whole thing through. You get my, you get my record, uh, and there's a hundred of them, okay? And it goes like this, knock out, 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 knock out. <laughs> and Amateur went that way, and Pro went, knock out, knock out, knock out, knock out, knock out, knock out. So I got to hook up with that dog on big guy. He got to quiet me down some, George. Well, the three fights with Muhammad, I didn't think I'd lose none of the fights. The first fight was clear, clear. The second fight, well, at the time, they got me, my eyes were bad. The third fight, eyes bad. Found out that I had scratches inside my left eye. Nobody knew but the trainer at that time. So he called the shot. God bless him. And today, I, I can see all of them. I can see so good. I can shoot a mosquito off a passenger train running 100 miles now. I see a mosquito now. <laughs> I don't fear guys in the sea. I don't fear guys in the rain. I don't fear guys, but if I, he got a, you got a razor blade, and I got a guy got a gun. I ain't being fair to him, so give him a gun too. I said, take him on. I got whipped twice by George. I didn't have no fear. And when when I had him two times, I will take him on now. <laughs> what 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 could I do? Get knocked out again? That's all. <laughs> he knocked me out. I knocked him out. He's the one. That's all. No fear, 
there was not a game that I loved. Everybody up! Cell Block D, get up! Remember now, that professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. I'm ready to fight right now. He just had a fight, he ain't had time to rest. I don't care, Ace. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. He chews fighters up and he spits them out. You don't know who you're with. You take the fight to that and he won't know what hit him. I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. We're not winning any decisions tonight. McQueen. We came to have a little talk. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Thank you.